hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's been a while let's just jump right into the tutorial so i'm using these crystal tips and i'm applying them using the bt art gel nail glue it's not actual nail glue nail gel glue and then here i am applying alcohol inks um i was going for i don't know what i was going for <laughs> I did these nails about two weeks ago. It was supposed to be like a New Year's nail type of thing. Obviously, we are well into that. Um, so, I tried to use these crystal tips before and I couldn't quite think of what to use them for. And then, I made the mistake of cutting them down too early. And they look disastrous. So, this time, I wanted to see if I could try again. I also wanted to try this D-Gel. Um, so it was a good opportunity to do that as well. So here I am just playing with the colors, adding them to the tips. And then I will use, um, builder gel for the rest to actually build the nail. And this was actually pretty simple, more simple than I thought it would be. If that makes any sense. <laughs> So here I am just using some hard gel base. Um, this one is from Young Nails and I'm using it to cover the entire nail. Because D-Gel doesn't, from what I can gather, <laughs> D-Gel does not have um, an adhesion layer. Like it needs base coat basically. You just can't go straight in um, and apply the product. It's going to peel. So I start with that. And then I use a little bit of Young Nails Frosted Pink. And this is their older. I got this on sale somewhere. I think it was Skyline Beauty when they were giving the old packages for cheaper. So I used that for the nail bed color. And I didn't use a lot. It was mainly just for the color and to kind of start building the nail. And then I go back over it with that DJ, which I enjoyed using. Sometimes I felt like I used just a little bit too much. <laughs> um, I think because I'm still getting familiar with the product. Oh, obviously, I had completed my other hand um, already. But I just wanted to make sure that my apex was strong and all of that. So I felt like I kept... Because I tend to do my builder gels in layer. So, that's important to keep in mind. Because when you see me, you're like, why should you keep adding? <laughs> that's why. I just want to make sure that my apex and that the nail had strength. I mean, I didn't keep them. The length that you're seeing here, I did um, after I finished them. I did go ahead and um, use my drill and bring the length down a bit. Also, in this hand, the stem that I'm doing right now, you can see like that big old bulge on the side. That is because when I put my hand in the lamp, <laughs> I let it, I put my whole hand in, and you know how your thumb is sideways, it kind of pulled and then freezed. That was fixed with some um, regular filing, so I just didn't bother with it. I didn't bother to file it then, because when I filed it, it looked fine. So, how I do Builder Gel now. So, I first start with, as you've seen base layer I then moved on to um, starting to build the nail so what I tend to do is I put down a slip layer and then I put down a top layer on top of that and then for the last layer I tend to do it in three some people are skilled enough to just do two um, I'm not there yet <laughs> right um, and then I will put it, pull my fingers upside down so that it pulls properly. And as you can see me doing that here, and then I just freeze it. This gel is like a really good consistency. I really like working with it. This is my first time working with it. And it was just easy to work with. It wasn't too much of a hassle. Um, 
it's not too thick it's not too thin it's not thick like poly gel or anything but it's not too thin where it's like running all over the place so i enjoyed working with this product it is not cheap <laughs> um just straight off the bat it's not cheap you know it's a, a korean nail product it is not that you know affordable um but i did get it on sale i think uh, christmas or was it black friday something like that one of those sales so that is why i went ahead and grabbed it um it would be like a go-to product for me if it wasn't so expensive and such a pain to get um because i really enjoyed working with it so that's my thoughts on that <laughs> um but yeah so that is how i do that and then now i am cleaning off my um inhibition layer and then I'm just filing, shaping. It wasn't a whole lot of filing to do. But I just want to make sure that I filed everything into place. And then, of course, Builder Gel is very easy to file. And I tend to use um, a fine bit that has helped me with my shipping a lot. Because I suck at shaping. <laughs> and that's why I tend not to build. Well, that and it's labor intensive to build nails from the bottom up. It's just very labor intensive when you can use full coverage chips. It's a lot faster. Get straight to the point. But certain designs just cannot be done on full coverage chips. And I will be using full coverage chips on my pinky. So I am just using the same BT Art Box uh, tip primer and then I'm applying the tips and then just carrying them on, making sure I'm sealing the cuticle. And then I use the same alcohol ink to create a little design, nothing too complicated, just to continue on with the theme. Um, of course, I could have built the nail with that shape, but I didn't want to. I just didn't want to. So, um, I'm just top coating it here. I think this is Young Nails top coat. Yeah, I don't remember which one. But I think stain resistant because I cook a lot. So, um, yeah. And thank you so much for watching. This is how the nails turn out. I absolutely love them. My students kept saying, oh, Miss Dan, I love your nails. So, <laughs> um,. Yeah, it's a, a different design, and I enjoy doing it. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support.